Hello, hello, my girl budgeting beauties. I hope you guys are having a great day, and if not, that it, I hope it does get better. I am Jacqueline, you're my girl budgeting queen, and in today's video, guys, we are going to be going over my new, not, well, my new savings binder, well, organized. I organized, finally, my savings binder made it more, you know, as, you know, um, more what is it just more user friendly for me and that way i can you know have everything you know right at the tip of my hands instead of you know digging in pockets and trying to pull out the ones that i you know especially the big pages these are more the for the full pages that i have so yeah so just wanted to go and jump in show you guys what i'll be working with on my savings and you know that's gonna work for me I do plan on putting some of my cute stickers on here. I haven't done it yet, but um, yeah, so we'll be doing that. Okay, so this is my cute little binder. Really cheap little cute binder, but it's I loved it. I love the colors. Guys, you can see I love pink. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. So first off, you guys are going to see... I wish I had more room. These... My desk is not really built for big binders, but we'll move this over here. Yeah. And I'll just grab it here in a minute when I need it. Okay. Let me go ahead and see if I can angle it a little bit. The sliding is off. There we go. Okay. I hope you guys... That looks okay for you guys. Okay, so first off, right away, you know, this is new, so I do plan on putting a cute littleness in here. Maybe some cute inspirational aspirations or, you know, daily affirmations, you know, something like that. So in these, I have all these cute little pockets, uh, zip po zipper pockets that I actually purchased. And so first off, I have my cute, my markers. So whenever I do my color ins, I have these available to me. First pocket I have is for my new challenges that I actually created myself and yet have yet to start. So I have quite a few in there and I've not yet started them. So, but yeah, I hope to be getting on the, well, no, I think I did start one. I may have started one. I don't know. All right. And then second is actually some actual, you know, um, savings that I actually can't put into the binder. You know, I could, I haven't gotten an A5 one yet. And I have an A5 for my budgeting binder, but not for my savings. So these are the big, you know, challenges, savings that aren't actually paper you know, that will fit into a bind, like a regular notebook binder, but these are, um, just extra ones that I've, that I've actually added in here. So I'll show you guys. So I have my Barbie dream house one with its savings. And then I'm doing the cinema savings. This one I got from hands and bands. This is actually a free, uh, one that she actually gives. If you become part of her website, um, join her club and then this one Ellie on earth is who I got this one from I love this cute vintage Christmas one um, that I'm actually working on and then I have also this cute little Christmas one um, as well and then I have my princess challenges like that I created myself so these are you know, cute little princess ones that are actually do have money. So the other ones don't have money, but these ones do. All right. So the next we're going to, this is just an empty one. So this was just, whenever I need it, I'll use it. And these are yet to be had or started. So these ones are just waiting. These will be picked up next before my new ones. Um, and then these are just ones that I've purchased off of Etsy. Um, this is um, ones that I've just, 
I challenges that I'm plan on doing in the future and I just wanted to keep them separate so I can know like hey I did especially because I'm gonna write the names of who I got these from so I do let y'all know where where you can find them if y'all are interested in any of them and then I created myself a daily planner guys so this is a daily planner I laminated it myself it's my to-do list um, it has my I'm grateful for in the background it has my logo for my girl book beauty and designs and then we have notes and then your schedule for the day so I figure I might use this just for a weekly planner I did create one for weekly but I haven't um, I haven't really um, touched base on it or yeah a weekly one I just haven't created the big size. I created an A5. I just didn't create the the larger size. So this one um, is gonna do for now. I'm good with just using this one. Um, this will hopefully keep me on top of you know my schedule and start you know with my planner planning ahead um, and then keep me on task daily. So that's what I hope. I'm hoping. I'm learning. I love planners, I love notebooks, I love all that stuff, but I just never stick to them. I like, I start them and I'm like, yeah, let me do this. And then I just, you know, like, oh, I don't feel like filling in anything. So I'm hoping with all my challenges all together this way, I will be able to um, stay on task. So here I got, um, this is a calendar I created for myself, it's undated. Um, and it's got my girl budgeting, be love, be light, cute little saying. And this I'm going to actually use for every time that I do a savings and, you know, it, um, have um, money that I'm going to put towards savings. That's what I'm going to use to actually, you know, calculate how much I put in for the month. So here it has my last, my first of the month penny savings. Then we have my Friday, um, Save days Friday. Well, no, the t Thursday was my, is of course roll the dice Thursday and the penny and so on and so forth. So I'm just try trying to track any kind of money that I'm inputting into. And even if I'm like, I have 16 bucks that I put here because I want to exchange 16 dollars toward my K bucks, J bucks, and that I'm actually saving. I have. I have some of those so I need to replace those so I can actually start those uh, challenges that I have aimed toward that so that's more or less what I'll be doing with these this calendar and then I have my challenges so right here as you can see I have my cute Mickey Mouse challenge and everything that pertains to this binder is actually gonna be here and I thought I had it in order <laughs> So I need to switch this out because it's supposed to be in order. So we'll switch these two around. So that's first. Okay. So we have Mickey here. And then from Mickey, I have that upside down. We of course have bugs, which bugs I'm almost complete with. So I can't wait to finish this one down looking forward to that and then from there we have the beautiful Thanksgiving savings that everybody is so in love with and I'm in love with this savings it was such a cute collaboration that you know Donna uh, powered by creativity created along with Lisa grateful me and Lisa grateful me was the one that created it but she collaborated with Donna powered by creativity and the I always forget the crafty saver <laughs> so they these three ladies they actually created this challenge they did it weeks maybe months ago started it so I'm staying on track trying to I want to get this done at least by Christmas to have so and then I have also my next challenge is this cute little penguin challenge, another collab that Beyond Better. And I said I was going to write. I think Lisa Grateful Me was part of this one. Oh, I'm so. 
I was going to write the names. So this is a, and then we also have in the envelope, this is for another challenge. Here we go with another challenge collab by Plan Live Budget. So Plan Live Budget created this cute little polar bear one that I'm actually haven't started, but I will be starting this hopefully coming week for Christmas. They are increments of $2 for each soda. There are two actual um, dashboards for this. And once I complete each of them, they will have $30 toward them each. So, and then we of course have the snowflakes or how snowflakes are made, which is by Donna Powered by Creativity. That one I haven't started, so I will. So these are the K bucks that I will be doing, and I want to exchange that I have right now currently. So this one is that cute little fairy fairy rose cottage. I actually got this one from Etsy on from Fairy Rose Cottage, and it's a cute little um, roll the dice game and um, a little fun, you know, challenge that you could do. Um, but these are my K J bucks, J bucks, another J bucks. What the K bucks are going to be for my kids? They are adults, but I'm, you know, plan on saving for, with for them stuff toward them. That's going to be, you know, toward their birthdays and Christmas gifts, whatever. And then J bucks. This one, Jiminy Cricket, is so cute. I got these also by Donna, powered by Creativity. These J-Bucks are actually going to go toward my jelly bean, my new grandbaby to come. And so this is going to be a savings that I'm going to have for her when she's here. And I'm going to be building up toward her. Um, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to... I have other savings that I have for her. So, um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe I'll use it toward college. I don't know. We'll see what we do with this one. And then these J-Bucks, of course, are for me. I love Jasmine. Always a big fan of Latin. So J Bucks, I savings for me uh, for anything. Um, I guess I decide later on down the road. All right, and of course these are the dashboards. Um, I also have this late save Mickey and Minnie savings challenge uh, created by Donna, powered by Creativity. I have a lot of Donna. Uh, challenges she just has a lot of cute little Disney challenges and who doesn't love Ch Disney <laughs> so of course here are the dashboards for each of those J bucks K bucks that I will be utilizing then I have my Veterans Day again Donna powered by creativity she gave this out as a free um, savings that you we could start um, to use towards, you know, uh, in, in honor of Veterans Day. So I might use this as a giving, um, maybe to give toward veterans. I, I that's what I, I think I want to use this towards. So maybe giving towards some charity for veterans, or you know, maybe you do a care package or something. And then this one I haven't started. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. But I do have my Dia de los Muertos. This one is actually one I created. It is a dice game. So you roll the dice, start here. You roll the dice wherever you land. You put that much into your uh, envelope. So I made it on a blue. I didn't like the blue. I wish I would have just stuck with the white. But I wanted to see it in a smaller frame. So this one is the larger size. And this is an, uh, more for an A6 binder. All right, and then we have the Financial Wizard uh, envelope. And this is a game I am have started, and I'm actually filling up as I roll the dice. You can be uh, card casters are for a higher budget, or you have dice druids are a lower budget. So I'm a dice druid at right now. That's how, what I'm playing at, and so every. Uh, so I play against the challenges that are in here when you land on the, whatever you roll the dice on. And then of course here is the Atlas. So, and then this is just more ideas 
I'm gonna I'm gonna print th this out and actually laminate so I can have use this as my idea page. But I that was just uh, some ideas that popped in my head and I haven't done them yet. And of course I have some other extra savings in here. So I have this cute Christmas savings that I purchased on Etsy. I don't know if I purchased this one or I may have may have gotten it for free. I don't remember. I'll have to find out. And this is a cost the club uh, the two dollar collab with Budget Better Life. So it's a cute little gnome and snowman that she created, and then she has a backside as well. She also I I want to say there's another. No, I think this is what she gave for free. But all of these are in their. Um, if you see their collabs or Christmas collabs, the four ladies. Um, they have their these actually um, usually linked in for their free. And so then I have my um, my last one, not the least last. Um, hot dog, hot diggity dog. This one was created by Saving with Shalanda. And it's a cute little hot dog challenge. And it's for low budget. You can I'm doing low budget, so two dollars for ketchup, two to three dollars for mustard, and each one you fill in, you put your puck, puck, put your money in. So but yeah, so that's pretty much it guys for my challenges. I just wanted to get organized. Um because I what with these I could just kept you know pulling them out of different places and I didn't have them organized I forgot I had this free binder so I was like I'm, I have the places for them to go to so this will keep me on track with this these challenges and so and least of not and not uh, all last but I also have my Disney cute little Disney challenges that I've started. I think I started one of them. Yeah, I started this one. And this one I actually created myself. And they're actually... I haven't added them to anything. I just was playing around with, you know, creating shaving challenges since I'm new to it. So, And I love the way those turned out. So, If you guys are interested in any of the ones that I've shown, um, especially like the ones I've created, I have these ones. I will say I created these cute little ones. I'll show you these ones while I still have time. Um, so this one is a cute little fall one. We have a bonus scratch off and then you can roll the dice and fill in those. And then I have my cute little unicorns scratch offs. So the, it is a six bundle or separate. You can do separate but I created each of them has their own unique special power and I fell in love with these scratch offs guys and these actually all all six of these together will total a hundred dollars um, I can't remember how I broke them out down but um, yeah I think they're either fifteen dollars yeah I think they're fifteen dollars in each of the each of them and then um, and then this one has 25 I believe, that you save towards. So it's kind of a low budget, you know. But if you get all six, you can save up to 100 bucks. But look how cute these are. We have my crystal unicorn. We have the flower unicorn. Rainbow. Mushroom. Butterfly. And then the sun and moon unicorn. And then this one, I was just playing around with this one. I didn't really create it for any purpose um i haven't really much love guys i will see you guys in my next video good night